Joining me now is Salika Talvid. She is a mobility thought leader. And Salika, what is a mobility thought leader? Thank you for having me. Mobility centers around the movement of people, goods, and information. My work impacts policy so that those who are inventing understand real world implications for their creations. And how are improvements in digital infrastructure, how does that help the successful deployment of these vehicles? Absolutely, we're gonna need vehicle to vehicle communication, vehicle to infrastructure communication, smart cities, traffic connectivity, all those things will help the technology advance much quicker, allowing greater safety. What are some of the gaps that you see? Sure, well, part of it is government doesn't always understand what they're dealing with. They haven't caught up with the technology in terms of policy, regulation, and enforcement. And until we get to that space, we're gonna have a really hard time having consistent movement across the country from autonomous vehicles. Now you have a children's book. Yes, I do. Sammy and Sally move around town. The book centers around the mobility safety concerns for children. Three children die every day in America. The book centers on uh, safe principles to keep our children able to move in society without fear of crashes. And do you think autonomous vehicles can reduce that number? Autonomous vehicles don't drive drunk, drug, or distracted. And I do think that they will help our streets be much safer for all people as we move around town. Where do you see this industry in the next five to 10 years? I think within about five to 10 years, they'll be ubiquitous everywhere. And we will certainly have understood both the policy responsibilities and upgraded the technology throughout that time. All right, Salika Talbot, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.